on you to Curtis 7 here for my 2015 set up You're video. Crazy, she is a little bit different well a lot different from before but anyways lads let's just quickly go across the room got my entertainment unit all across there got a massive feature wall now that is brand new we'll get to that in a second got my couch got my computer and whatnot and a few things behind the door anyways lads let's get to the very beginning in the room brand new entertainment unit that was man-made built Yes, I got my girlfriend's brother to uh, make this for me. I got the measurements, he cut them out. Mate, that is designed exactly the way I wanted it to be. But anyways, lads, on the start, at the start here, we got two massive lights either side of uh, the TV. That's a Samsung 55 inch uh, LED uh, 3D and whatnot. It can do, it's got all the bells and whistles. We made this for ourselves because I wanted it to be perfect it's got the Wii U in the center here I just picked that up not too long ago there was an unboxing on my channel um, recently about it so yeah then we move across here lads we've got my Elgato next to the Xbox one as you can see the Xbox one is in the middle it's pretty much the console that I use the most and if we go across one more lads you can see the PlayStation 4 sitting next to the Xbox One on a shelf on its own. So that's what I wanted. I wanted a shelf that had a PlayStation and Xbox and a, a, a Wii U just separately. Uh, if we go down another shelf, I pretty much got my uh, Wii U, the um, the pad that you used to play the Wii U. I've got my Xbox Connect in the middle. If we go across one more, lads, we can see my modem. My modem is actually in this unit next to all my PlayStation and Xbox and all that stuff because that's where basically all my internet stuff goes. That is pretty much it for this entertainment unit. Oh yeah, and I've got this mad lights behind the TV. All right, lads, so I'm back. I've just turned off all the lights in the room. And as you can see, lads, it's just a massive light behind the TV. And they change colors. Look at this, that's red. Um, I don't know how well you're gonna see this on the camera, but believe me, that they, this is a bright color, uh, green, blue, orange, um, you can even get it to fade. You can see the colors fading in and out. It's gone from like a yellow, now it's gone to a green, a limey green and changing to a blue. Yeah, man, it's tough. But when I play my Xbox, I love having the green light solid. Uh, so when I play FIFA, it matches the pitch. And when I play the PlayStation, I like having the, the, the blue color because it matches the background on the PlayStation. I don't know, it's weird like that, but uh, it's just an awesome, awesome uh, little feature that adds to the room. All right, so here is the feature wall. So I pretty much got all these games here, my, my old school favorites, new ones, and then there's some games here that are not even out yet. So like The Division, I'm hanging for The Division. Got that printed, uh, Batman Arkham Knight, that's not out yet, that's coming out June 3rd, I think it is. So I'm hanging for those games, and I just got classics up here, man. There's about, uh, I'm not too sure how many posters there are up there, but there's just a shitload of posters, and it pretty much just it's just a feature wall for the background. It's something different. I'm happy about that. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Now as we come a little bit lower from the wall, we've got my auto, uh, my Ottoman box where I just got all crap in there. Just things I need to store, so like blankets and pillows and things like that in there. But on top of the lads is my trophies, which I got for Christmas. Again, that uh, unboxing is on the channel as well. You can go back and see me unbox these bad boys. But yeah, World Cup. Premier League trophy, Champions League trophy, and it's pretty much got everything engraved on the back here, but if you go watch my unboxing, you'll see everything detailed with these bad boys. But anyways, yeah, so I actually went and bought some red carpet. I uh, went down to my furniture store, and I think I paid like 150 bucks for this bad boy. It feels so beautiful. It's just so thick, and mate, I love coming on here with my socks, even barefoot, sitting down on the couch and playing some gaming or watching some Netflix or the WWE Network, whatever it may be. Uh, mate, it's just a great addition to the room. And now 
on to the famous red couch. Now this red couch was on my channel right at the start of the very channel. Uh, originally, you can see me, um, I think I did a few Q and A's and stuff like that, but yeah, we've had this couch for ages, got some polka dot pillows and whatnot. Anyways, as we go up here, we see we got ourselves a David De Gea calendar and a Manchester United picture frame. I uh, really love that frame. Anyways, let's, let's move across to my desk. There you go. So there is the famous desk. Now, as you can see, first thing you're going to see is why is the desk so freaking small? Look at it. That is tiny. Everyone's got a setup video has got like a massive desk. It's like three meters long. It's got like 50 TV screens and 30 monitors and you know, 15 keyboards and whatnot. Now, me, one computer, one keyboard, one mouse. That's all I need. I am not the type of person who likes to be sitting at their desk and gaming and you know, doing their tweets and their social media, you know, and, and bloody, you know, editing their videos and doing everything at the desk that is so not necessary whatsoever. I like being on my couch gaming. I like being on my couch surfing the net. I like being on my couch on social media. I only like being at my desk is when I edit my videos. And that's the only time I want to be at my desk is when I'm doing that. So other when that is happening, uh, you're pretty much going to find me here because it is so much more comfortable. A couch versus an office chair. You can, That's not even an argument. That's not even a debate. It's hands down. We know which one is going to win. So as we take a look up on my shelf, lads, you can see that I have pretty much got all my Xbox games on there. Now, a lot of people call me an Xbox fanboy, but I don't see how that is true when I've pretty much got uh, more PlayStation 4 games than I do Xbox One games. But as you can see, lads, I've pretty much got all these soccer games uh, look at all these Pez games, all FIFA, and if you can take a look here, lads, my first, uh, one of my first ever FIFA games, FIFA 97, so kudos to me, and as we can see, Master Chief up there, Halo 5 coming out at the end of the year, I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, lads, moving along to my Darting for Glory dartboard yes it's been moved all the way over here it used to be up there on the feature wall but now we come all the way back here pretty much if we take a look all the way to the back wall and now i throw it from back here so um yeah so that's pretty much where i've got that series happening right now and uh back behind the wall lads is pretty much my manchester united corner i pretty much got all these frames over here all my memorabilia from United and there's me cheeky smile that's old Trafford yeah so pretty much got all my United stuff back here Viva Ronaldo so yeah and I got my jacket and um, a GTA 5 poster of the map and yeah that, that is pretty much my gaming setup for 2000 and 15. So anyways lads, that was my gaming setup for 2015. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please go on to smash that like button, hit that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for wonderful content and uh, if you want to check out my second channel, you can too. I do uh, play video games and talk about video games and stuff like that, not just FIFA. So um, yeah, something a little bit different but like I said lads, Something different, hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, I'm your boy, Kirsty7. Take care, and peace. It's got on YouTube, Kirsty7, here today to review The Order 1886.